You mean you cut a deal? Dr. Hayward has chosen to do the sensible thing. I'm doing what's best for everybody concerned. Well, it's best for the DA. But we did spend quite a while building this case. They don't have any evidence, David. What? It's all been destroyed. What? You're making a big mistake here, Chief. There was Bain. a flood in the evidence room. Your files, the computer data, they've all been destroyed. They don't have a case against you. They don't need anything but your testimony, Anna. David, I don't have... No! They're taking this deal. He's pleading guilty, Anna. You follow? No, he isn't. I am not going to put you through a hearing. Well, there won't be one. Because I will refuse to testify. You can go back to the police station now. Anna. No, I'd like to tell you where you go. And when you get there, why don't you look in the rule book? I think you'll find it says that you make the cases. I prosecute the cases. Now, the accused here has very wisely decided to plead guilty. I don't need your testimony because there will be no hearing. You follow me? He didn't have the necessary knowledge to make an informed decision. Oh, golly, gee whiz, that's the way the game is played, don't Chief. Condescend to me. Don't you try to bend justice to suit your own purposes in my office. Look, he has made a decision to plead guilty, and it's based on personal motives. Or maybe a guilty conscience, frankly. I don't care when. Well, I do. David, you, you thought I wasn't on your side. I am. I mean, that's why... No! Don't say another word, Anna. You can't argue me out of this, okay? I made up my mind. Yeah. I'll be happy to tell him. Thank you. Your attorney's here, Doc. When did you go fill him in on the agreement? You don't want to be present for that? No, I want a moment alone with him. Oh, gosh, you know, I don't think that's very wise. I'm going to convince her, not the other way around. What is wrong with you? You are trading your entire future. The fact that I'm guilty is immaterial, is that it? Oh, no, David, I don't know. I mean, what harm did you really do? Oh, well, let's see. I try to use you to avoid prosecution. I compromise your integrity, your, your career, and your future. Okay, I can handle that. Oh, yeah, of course you can. That's why you told me in front of Jackson that the evidence was a wash. That was a real promotion builder. I didn't have time to pay charades. You're always on me to do the right thing. And then you get in my way and your own when I try to do it. I don't want you in prison. And I don't want to bring down your career, Anna. Look. This feels right. It feels good, being honest. You picked a fine time to reform. Well, it especially feels good being honest with you. I've taken a lot of things for granted in my life, including you. So I'll do my time and who knows, when I get out, you and I, maybe we'll have a real chance. Mr. Montgomery's offer seems fair, David, but we should discuss it. That's not necessary. Right. Because he's not pleading guilty. Why don't you just stay the hell out of this, Anna? Did Mr. Montgomery happen to mention the fact that all the evidence against your client has been destroyed? Well, that must have slipped his mind. Well, actually, Rico, as you know, I wasn't obligated to let you know that as yet. Not until after he'd entered his plea, and then it wouldn't matter anyway. I thought your offer was uncharacteristically generous. Right, so that you would take it. And he wouldn't have to tell you about the evidence. Chief Devane for the defense. Nice, huh? Okay, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's go to trial. I can put you on the witness stand, and you can do my job for me. How would you like that? Not even you can force a wife to Anna. testify against her husband. A wife? Who's kind of poor? We're married. You have to be kidding me, no, right? No, no, no. This is up all nice and legal. I assure you. At Elk Green, I think. J.P. Tucker presiding. Look it up. I will. She's telling the truth. Yes, I can see what she is. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, yeah.
It's legit. Well, this case has taken an interesting turn, don't you think? Especially ironic that you're our chief of police. But it doesn't change the fact that I can't be forced to testify against my husband. You're protecting a criminal, you really. Uh. Unless, of course, you have no proof that my client committed a crime. I've still got Jake Martin's testimony and a list of the evidence we gathered. Without physical evidence, no jury will convict Dr. Hayward. He's right, you know. I certainly hope this was worth your career. Oh, don't go threatening her. What, are you going to shut me up, Hayward? Huh? You going to silence me? You know what your problem is, Jackson? You, you go after the wrong people, and a lot of money is spent doing it, like my brother. I don't run this office to suit the people I should be prosecuting, like you and your wife. My there. wife did nothing wrong. <laughs> well, I wouldn't expect you to recognize well, you it. You want to prosecute somebody who deserves it? Get Vanessa. It just so happens your mother was found unfit to stand trial. Well, then there's the real crime, isn't it? I couldn't agree with you more. Is there any reason why we can't go home? No, no reason at all. Sure hope they got you under retainer, Rico. I got a feeling they're gonna keep you real busy. I thought you were smarter than this. <laughs> well, you're not behind bars, and we're home. So I figure we're ahead of the game. In your career? We'll recover. Not if Jackson has anything to say about it. Yeah. I guess we'll just have to wait and see about that. I'm sorry. I'm not. I am guilty. Technically. Legally, yes. But your research saved someone's life, and that doesn't scream throw him in jail to me. Hmm. Well, our marriage is out there in the open now. Even though you were going to go to jail to keep it under wraps? It would have been better for you. For my career, yes. I'm beginning to realize there's a lot more to life than that. This job is you, Anna. It's a perfect fit. Yeah, I know. Would you have done it, really? Spent some time pressing license plates for me. Yeah. And you know why, don't you? No, actually. I don't. Why? Because I love you, Anna. Yeah. Difficult day. A bit tired. <sighs> this can't be your only reaction. You don't believe me. <sighs> Tell me you're not taking my pulse. I meant it, Anna. I love you. I know it sounds like it's something new, probably because I'm not used to saying this on a regular <laughs> basis. No kidding. But I've been feeling it for some time. Even though I wouldn't allow myself to say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reaction that I was expecting. Well, it's like you felt a little odd and then you finally diagnosed it as love. That's uh, not what I was saying. It's okay. I feel the same way. I love you too.